let's do a little mini business class, right? So uh, think community, if you go to LinkedIn and you go to J JJ's profile, one of the things you'll see is that uh, JJ and his team are activating data, data one client at a time, right? Building a company using data. And so let's talk about three things um, on how you do on how you do this and how companies can begin, you know, doing it and thinking about it. What's number one? Yeah, the the number one thing that uh, you have to do is just know what you're where you're headed. Know like, are do you have a velocity currently, and know where you're trying to go. Um, if you know that, that gives you something to measure against. A lot of people come in the solo space, like the solopreneur side of things, where they don't have a direction yet. Like they don't know which direction they're headed. And so you can't measure anything on that. Like it's, I'm like, hey, it's not for us. Like we can't work with you because you're not going anywhere. It's kind of like sitting in a car and the car hasn't started yet. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. which way do I turn? And you're like, uh, does not make it. You could turn the wheel 180 degrees. Doesn't make a difference. Like right. you're going to be in the same spot you were. Um, so that's kind of the first thing is like, do you have a direction? Do you have a velocity of saying right. we're going to go this direction this fast? And we need to hone in on the, on exactly that direction. Yeah, right. Number two. Uh, number two, I think, would be then knowing the uh, relative metrics to that. So when I say relative metrics, I know it's a thing out, out, out in the out in the world of basically uh, one number divided by the, the percentage, the conversion rate of each mi micro step that you have to plan. So if you say, hey, we're going to go towards this direction of being a supplement si company for e-commerce. Okay, awesome. How much are we going to spend um, of that? What percentage of that is going to lead to a click of that percentage? What percentage is going to lead to an add to cart? And if you know those relative metrics, it then gives you something much more tangible that you can act on when you say, like, it's not working, right? When you say, yeah. uh, what is it? The percentage working, it was supposed to be 20%. It's currently 12%. It yeah. is not working. You now know the it and you now know what working is. Yeah, I just want to comment on that, too. I talk a lot about um, when I'm working with clients on quantifying things, whether you're an owner, a manager, a salesperson, quantifying things is so important. Otherwise, everything is just, you know, broad and generic and you think you're busy and you think you're working really hard, but you don't really know what to measure it up against. And so um, I appreciate you, you, you sharing that, you know, I mean, from for anything as far as I'm going to call a lot of people versus I'm going to call two people every single day from this time to this time. I'm going to right. I'm, you know, I mean, so I, 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 I like what you're talking about. What's number three, JJ? Uh, so number three is knowing where the money is, uh, which it, it sounds really dumb when I say, when you say it out loud of like, oh, where's the money come from? But if you know right. where that money comes from, it it tracks back up upwards. And usually that 80 20 rule is so true of 80 percent of revenue comes from 20 percent of people, that type of idea. But knowing that 20 percent that is providing 80 percent of the money to whatever business you're operating, this works across e-commerce, software, uh, direct response, info products. It's almost always true. There's 20 percent of people that are going to pay you 80 percent of the money if you create the right offer. Knowing what that is and then working back up to the highest point in your funnel, in your marketing strategy so that you can say, yeah. hey, these are the people I'm going to go after are this type of person it makes everything right. a lot better <laughs> yeah right and what I, and and what i what i love what you're talking about is you're putting it in very simple terms i believe you know um business is easy we make it difficult and as we look at things with clarity and direction and numbers and data and then layer in our gut um then we're good but you know, you, you, I, I always love the statements, you know, you can't negotiate facts. And if you don't bring data to the meeting, people just use their own opinion. And so there's got to be kind of the combination. What I love about everything you're talking about is a combination of the art and the science. So I think it's, I think it's great. Exactly. Yeah. When you have like a percentage, so say, for example, someone's like, Hey, we're converting at 1% and that's bad. Now, what do we do about it is where the art comes into it, right? That's where, you, that's where you start to have like saying, okay, 1% is bad. We, we know what the number is, like good job team. We now know that 1% is bad because we wanted 5%. Now, what do we do is where the art comes in and you can't always, there's no science to that of like, oh, it's bad. Right. Like it is a little bit more art, art in the marketing world there. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Thanks for, thanks for sharing that. That was, uh, that was all great.